What's good, Spurs Nice? It's your boy Clay, the Spurs fan, here with a brand new video. Um, I wanted to bring something to your attention because I feel like oftentimes on this channel, a continuous theme has been having revisionist history. Uh, when it came to Kawhi, we did the same thing, or not we, but certain individuals did the same thing in which they came out and the whole narrative changed of what happened with Kawhi. All of a sudden, it's all the Spurs' fault. Um, and that wasn't necessarily the case if you actually, you know, paid attention at that time and you don't just ride off of the hype train that is Kawhi right now. Um, and I think the same thing is happening with Damari Carroll. And I, for one, want to prevent that from happening with this whole uh, Damari Carroll situation. Um, a few videos back, I said that Damari Carroll did not play that well with us. Um, I... I felt like, yes, he should get more playing time. I felt like he should be able to be implemented into the offense a little bit better. But it didn't work out when he was playing. He, he didn't play well, and I think that was the downfall of him getting minutes. I just don't think that he ran it well. And somebody sent me this Reddit, or a few people actually sent me this Reddit, in which someone is highlighting, uh, let me see what's his name, because I want to give him his name, put his name out there, K out, K, K out. K.H. Stefan actually posted um, a video, and I'm going to put it on this video as well, but he posted a video, a clip of Damari Carroll on the court, and he was supposed to run uh, something that we run all the time, a play that we run all the time, and he could not figure it out. And it wasn't just in this game, because I do remember quite a few games where he did not run it well, where he looked a little lost out there. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and read uh, what K. Stefan uh, put here, and I'm gonna play the video as well. He says, this is supposed to be a high post split into double uh, dribble handoffs. Uh, the four, which is Demari Carroll, would set a screen for a big LaMarcus Aldridge. Uh, then the two guards would split into a floppy action, running off screen to get dribble handoff opportunities. The Spurs have been running this a lot. That is true, we have. Uh, in this video, Damari Carroll basically did everything wrong. He didn't realize that he should set a screen for LaMarcus until DeJounte pointed for him, and actually LaMarcus shouted at him in-game. After the first screen, he stayed on the wrong side and set the screen late for Brent. <clears throat> and this was one of uh, many examples of Damari Carroll not understanding what the team was running. Imagine setting a screen for DeJounte when he was supposed to set a screen at baseline for LaMarcus to get the ball in the post. He did it against the Lakers, which was his very last game getting rotational minutes. Now, I love the fact that this, this guy, K.H. Stefan, or female, I'm not sure, uh, uh, posted this. I, I really do appreciate them doing this because it might shed a little light on the situation. So you see Damari Carroll in this clip. He doesn't know what he's doing uh, as far as the offense is concerned. He's still learning. So Pop knows that he needs to take him and you know, put, him, put him on the bench, right? You can't be in the game and not understand the Spurs offense. I know the Spurs offense can be complicated. It takes some time to learn, but you can't be out there continuously getting it wrong. You know what I'm saying? And I felt like a lot of plays, he forced shots, and he didn't run the offense accordingly. Now, with that being said, instead of Damari Carroll taking it in stride and saying, look, I'm not getting my playing time because I don't understand the offense, instead he saw it as, I can help this team. And like he said, he didn't gel with Pop when it came to the offense. That's what he said. He didn't, when it came to basketball, he didn't gel with them. So maybe he didn't agree with the plays that we were running. Maybe he just couldn't understand it. Because now he's going to a situation with the Houston Rockets where he might thrive. He might look pretty good with the Houston Rockets because all you have to do is stand there and wait for James Harden and Westbrook to get you the ball. Well, you don't have that luxury with San Antonio. And San Antonio didn't win five championships playing iso ball and passing it out to the corner. But... I say all that to say this. It might be possible that Damari Carroll just wasn't patient enough, which is fine because he's 33 years old, so I understand, but he wasn't patient enough 
to try to understand the offense because as soon as he didn't get playing time, he shut off. He didn't travel with the team. He was done. So it might be just one of those situations where it just didn't work out. Could be that simple. I know it's hard to digest and you know try to understand why it didn't happen, why it didn't work out. It could be as simple as that. When you see this clip, and honestly, if we look back at the other games that we've had with him, he didn't understand the offense. And oftentimes, if a player doesn't understand the offense on San Antonio Spurs, it takes them a while to get the, get the playing time that they need. Look at Lonnie Walker. But you have to be patient and uh, continue, continue to learn it. And once you got it, you get your playing time. So that's just my thoughts on it. Please uh, leave a comment below on what you think, what, what you feel like um, the Spurs should have done or what they could have done to make it better for, for Damari Carroll. Or are you happy that you know we went ahead and cleared up that, that roster spot? Um, but yeah, leave a comment. Thanks you guys so much for coming through. Please give this video a like. It helps a lot with analytics uh, for my video. So please, please do that for me. Until next time, deuces.